So when we first started out, I, um, because my foot was inside the stance, I was doing a lot of cross blocks. Um, and I'm kind of alternating between cross blocking and blocking correctly now. He's trying to get me back into the switch step rubber band strike. I got confused there because I didn't have to switch my stance. I just have to move back like I'm stepping on a trampoline or something. Here he wants me to come up on my toe for the kick. He wants me to float up. If you watch when he kicks, his chest and torso float towards the ceiling and the kick just like blossoms out of it. It's so pretty. He wants me to do that, which I'm trying to do, but I'm also kicking too high. You can float up and still have a middle kick. Oh, look at him do it. Do pee, do pee. That means like, watch me. <laughs> look what I can do. It's so pretty, <laughs> Jesus. He did, all, he did that on the back like 40 times after this session just because he likes it. Pop your heels too. My body has to come up and my leg is not to be that high. So I'm, I'm thinking that it has to go up high because I'm coming high. And he's like, no, the, the chest is what guides the kick. It doesn't have to be a high kick. And by doing it, it reminded me to keep my arm out, which actually further um, lengthens and balances my kick. So he's trying to remind me, like, turn every step into the next strike. And now you've gone nowhere. Instead, when you come up, step forward. So here he's showing me that when my leg comes down, if I turn that step into a kick, it interrupts his chance to kick me on my way in. Whereas if I don't kick, see how he can nail me as I'm switching stance? He's totally like giving me the answer key to how insanely hard it is to fight Karahat. There we go. So I'm getting kicked quite a lot and just firing back, which is a huge step forward for me. <laughs> That's exactly what he just told me about using that step as the strike. See how his weight's coming forward? I nail him as his weight is coming forward. Then, as my leg comes down, I can strike on the other side because it becomes the step to the next move. He keeps using this word jungwat, jungwat, which means like rhythm. And what he means by rhythm is not the like, I'm going to rock back and forth meaninglessly. Here he's telling me to grab him when he's on the ropes, like turn my arm on his neck into the grab. When he's talking about rhythm, he's literally talking about what I was just saying, where every step becomes the next step. <laughs> it was the closed side that I hit. That's why he sounded exacerbated for a moment. There we go. Catch him as he's coming in. I've corrected... Um, from the last time how slow that kick on the right was. I've, I've kept my kicks more explosive despite him not telling me. <laughs> He's letting me feel exactly what that should feel like when I do it. He's like, where am I going to go? There's no flex in the corner. Be a little bird, baby. Kevin's saying be a little bird because he wants Fighting me to chicken. get off the branch. You can't fly clinging to a branch. You can't do it. You can't take the tree with you. Uh. Uh. Get in your corner. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm kind of playing two games at once. One is trying to cut off the ring and kind of funnel him from side to side. And the other is using every step as the skip to the next step. <laughs> yes. So see how I took a step back and then there was a delay before I struck again? He wants the step back to be the trampoline into the next movement. <laughs> 